Hey, it's Lehman in the Proofit Guy, and we're still focusing on life tips for this month. This month, I asked a couple of people to send me videos on what they think a good life tip would be for the people that watch my videos. Uh, so this one comes from Ben Cardall. You would have seen him do the comfort zone video as well. I really like what Ben does. I like his work, and we've worked together a few times on different projects. So over the last three or four years, we've got to know each other very well, and I think what he says is very important. So please sit back and enjoy Ben's take on life tips and share this with anyone else you think it would help. Hey guys, hey, it's Ben Cardle, the deductionist and of Hero School. Um, that's a deer stalker. Uh, here with my life tips, or well, a life tip that uh, Liam O'Neill, the Prove It Guy, asked me for. Now, the way I think about this um, has a backstory. And you can Google the science all you want, but Ekman, Dr. Paul Ekman, has gone some way to proving that the body's physiology changes when you force an expression on your face. I.e., if you're not feeling very upbeat, if you force a smile onto your face for however long the ergonomics behind it kicks in, spits out the necessary hormones and aids to improve your mood. So what I took away from this is a very simple thing that you can also take away from your life in order to make things better for yourself, and that's uh, two words. I can't. Very simply, I can't doesn't exist. Least of all, that's, that's my opinion. I can't doesn't exist. No matter what you think of, I can't doesn't exist. I can't fly a plane. It's not that you can't, it's just that you haven't been shown how yet. Do you see what I'm saying? The minute you start re-engineering and reinforcing those limited beliefs upon to yourself with those two powerful words, the more it's going to spread out and have a negative effect on other things that you don't particularly, uh, sorry, that you aren't even particularly aware of at the time. Vanish those two words from your vocabulary, either by force or by doing it enough times that you simply don't say it anymore. And I'm telling you now, the sunnier dispositions you will have, the amount of unnecessary fears that you had before that you'll lose, the amount of things that you'll be trying and capable of, simply because I can't, doesn't exist. I took this um, into my, uh, my, uh, my gymnastic training, because I'm quite a big guy, I'm quite heavy. And I was of the opinion for a great many years that I couldn't, or you know, I can't, do a backflip. And uh, since I vanished those words from my life, it's become more and more apparent of the things that I'm capable of doing just because I haven't learned how to do them yet. It was the very nature of this magical backflip that was eluding me for so long. Same with anything, the first time you sit down and think I'm going to memorise six decks of cards or I'm going to deduce things about this person with nothing else, it seems a bit daunting. And those two words want to creep up in your head, the emotional qualities that become antagonistic to clear reasoning. I have to get homes in now, I'm a Sherlockian. Um, but yeah, vanish those two words from your life and the knock-on effects you'll have will be amazing. Such a confidence booster.